welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another uh, Photoshop Elements video tutorial. I'm your host Jack and I wanted to talk to you in this video tutorial about how to do animation. A lot of people have emailed me over the course of these shows and probably the number one question was Jack can I do animation with Photoshop Elements? And up until now, my actual answer, believe it or not, was no. Um, so I did a lot of research. I did a lot of playing around. And I thought, you know, there probably is a way to create an animated gift. We just have to figure out a way to do that. And as you can see on my screen, I actually created this animation that's currently running in Photoshop Elements. And you can use shapes or t text or pretty much anything you want to animate. I've been playing around with this for a while to kind of get the feeling for this thing to see how it actually works um, and there's a lot of different possibilities with this so you can animate text to put on your website or you know what have you just remember one thing when you're creating animations like this an animated gift will not just open up in a, a preview window and uh, be animated animation or animated gifts mainly run on a web page so you would you would create this uh, file this gift file a dot gif and you would take that and actually stick that on your website now, much like it's running here this is a preview of what I actually created so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you how I created that step by step and you two will be creating animated gifs in your Photoshop elements and as far as I know this works all the way back to version um, 3 4 5 6 and now 7 and I believe it's all the same way. You know, I haven't tried this on my Mac. This is on a PC. But I imagine it will work the same way on the Mac. And I'll have to look at that later just to make sure. If you have a Mac, try this out. Maybe email me and let me know. And save me a couple steps later on down the road. So let's go ahead and close this preview window out. And we're going to go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to close this out. And we're going to start from scratch to show you how this is done. alright we're in our full editor right here what we want to do is we're going to create a blank file so we're going to go to file new blank file now for this demonstration that like I was creating basically a banner is what I was creating there and I used a width of 800 and a height of 200 you can play around with those and try whatever you want uh, one key thing I would tell you though is make sure you leave the background contents as transparent. Let's go ahead and give this a name. Uh, cap locks keys on. Let's just say we'll call it animated logo. Okay, here we go. This is our first layer. As you can see, it's blank. Now, the object is when you're animating anything in Photoshop Elements, um, after working with this for quite a while, the main thing is, is you want separate items <clears throat> on each layer. Every layer basically plays like a frame of a movie, if you can think of it that way. Each layer is a basic frame. So we're going to go ahead and start by adding some text. Again, you can go down here and select the color of your text. Here, we'll make this one uh, like a reddish color so you can see that this is a new animated gift I'm creating with you. And we're going to go ahead and draw our text box right here. Alright. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is type in whatever word you want to show up. Now, I'll turn my Caplox key back on. Uh, let's pick a different font. I didn't really like that font too much. Let's go back up to the, um, how about that beauty school dropout that we added so long ago to our fonts. You'd think by now, geez, Jack, you probably add some new fonts to your computer, but uh, I haven't. I haven't added anything new. Let's go up here and find that. And I'm not doing too well here at finding it. All right, let's see here now. Beauty school dropout. We're going to add this font. You can see the font size is 24. You can play with that once you start typing. All right. 
that doesn't really look big enough so I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and I'm going to change my font size so we can find something that looks a little better that looks pretty good okay I have the first word that's going to show up now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer here we can click the little checkbox here so now we're ready to go ahead and duplicate this layer so do a control J now we're going to work on this layer alright I like to shut this layer off so I'm only working on one layer at a time and now since we duplicated that we have to change that word Jax tech that's my second word I'm going to be using click the checkbox again duplicate that layer control J I'll turn this layer off and we'll put in your corner Jax tech corner there we go now if we turn all these layers on we should be able to see all of our words come back okay there you go now as you can see they're stacked now that would work for that flashing effect I had at the end of my animation but first we want it to come up across the screen so click on your layer and click on your move tool and then you can rearrange your words however you want them jacks let's get that corner out of there so we'll click on that layer and we'll be able to move corner out okay and I see the font size may not really work for us here but we're gonna try to squeeze it in the best we can uh, let's do something like that and you know what if they overlap a little bit that's okay because they're not going to be shown at the same time remember this is an animation so maybe we want it to overlap a little bit that might make it look uh, kind of interesting and let's pull this one over here and we'll let that overlap there you go so these are actually overlapping each other and you can see our background is transparent now at that point we have the Jax Tech corner so now I had those words flushing at the end so let's go ahead and create that so we'll go back here we'll duplicate that layer again now so we don't get too confused let's shut these layers off and we're only working with this one text box okay I'm going to double click it to highlight it so I can retype something but this time let's change our text color do this okay so we have Jack's tech corner then we'll type in here Photoshop okay now on a white background I don't know how well that's going to show up so I'm going to change that color I'm just going to highlight it we're going to go a little darker blue there you go. I think that'll show up a little better so we have Photoshop we're going to duplicate that layer Let's do a control J on there okay as I said I turn that layer off and I just do that just to make it easier for me to work elements okay there's elements now we're gonna go ahead and click the checkbox whenever you see that up there we're gonna duplicate that control J we'll turn this layer off and we'll rename this one just double click and you can type something new on there videos okay so now if we turn these on they should start overlapping as you see they are overlapping alright now I'm playing around I found that in the animation what's going to happen is it's going to start from the bottom and work its way up you would think it would go top down but remember layers are from bottom up so that's how the animations are going to run now at this point you have to make sure all your layers are visible if you have this one and this one shut off those will never come up on your animation so let's make sure they're turned on now we're going to go ahead and we want to test this animation to see if this actually works so we're going to go up to file you're going to go save for the web see where it says save for web I'm going to make sure I got this in my video here so you can see what's going on All right here's all your different uh, uh, layers turned on we're going to animate these 
Now you see it's going to start with jacks. Over here I have the transparency turned on. So these are pretty much all just um, these are all just basically set the way they are. The only thing I really had to turn on was animate because this one isn't on. So I'll turn on animate. And down here is your frame delay. Now let me show you what that does. We're going to set it to 2 and I'm going to show you how it runs. Down here at the bottom you're going to see preview in. If you click this, I have mine already set for Firefox. But if you go to other, you can go to IE and set that to wherever you want to. Um, I'm going to do that just to show you how that works. You go to other, or if nothing's listed there, you have to go in here and go to program files. And then you would go into, like I said, I went to Mozilla because I use Firefox. Mozilla Firefox, and I clicked on Firefox. Now that you see at this point, your animation starts to play. And you can see how fast that's actually running. People would be watching it and be like, what the heck is he trying to tell me? Right? Doesn't make much sense. So now, let's minimize that. That will keep running there so we can see the difference. Now the frame delay, remember you're creating a video. It's basically what you're doing. It's just an animated GIF video. Let's change this pull-down menu, and you can go to try point 0.5. Just click here again and click Preview. Now you can see it looks like it's running a lot better compared to this. Right? That's really fast. Here we slowed it down. You can read it. You can see what's going on. Everything's working for us. You can see that Jack's Tech Corner was overlapped. But you can't tell because we're inside of a video and it's each individual frame. All right, I'm going to show you one more here. We're going to take that up. We're going to take it to one. And you got to watch. You don't want to make it too long because if people changes a page or something on you or goes to a different page, they're not going to be really paying attention to your video. See, and that might be nice if you have that as a banner on top of your web page or something. You'd be doing just something like that. Okay. So that's that point. Once you get that all done and you like it, click OK. And it's going to say here, Animated Logo Gift. All right. We have to save that somewhere. Let me just put it on my messy desktop here. Uh, GIF file, open that up, and I'm going to save it in here. Now we have that saved. Now if we open up our web browser, this is the way you would have to view that. Go to open file, desktop, I saved this gift file, and I'm going to open my gift file with my web browser. And there you have it. You actually created an animated gift file um, with some text and as a banner with Photoshop elements. Let's just close that out. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial of animated GIFs. So yes, you can do animation. Thanks for everybody in there asking me the question because that pushes me and it um, made me actually work on this a lot harder and try to find a solution and you know searching around I did I found a solution hopefully this video will help you make some animated gifts and uh, use your imagination it'll work with anything <clears throat> excuse me as long as you keep these layers um, you know each each part of uh, your animation as a individual layer you will find that it will work absolutely perfect for you also so until next time folks keep those shutters clicking Keep the editor editing and keep your mind exploring. That's the best way to learn this stuff. I'll talk to you next time very soon. Bye for now from Jack's Tech Corner. See ya.